Dr. Chol Kim here from sunny San Diego, California. We have a special guest today. This is a 40-year-old complex foot surgeon from the Navy, all the way from Nebraska. He has left-sided back pain that has been nagging him to no end despite numerous non-operative treatments, including targeted injections, which provided temporary relief, but at least we got some diagnostic information. If you look really closely at his spine, you can see that he's got two bad discs. There's an annular tear at 4.5. That was the targeted injection, but there's an obvious annular tear at 5.1. The diagnostic injection made him better temporarily, which tells me that those are the main pain generators. So, instead of doing a big fusion on a young, big, active gentleman, we're gonna try to do this surgery as minimally invasively as possible using the laser endoscopic technique. Come in from the left side to debride that little entrapped annular tear release the stuck down nerves from the inflammation and reinitiate a new healing response. We'll do the same thing at 5-1 for that annular tear and disc protrusion, but we'll use the interlaminar approach so that I can get all the way to the midline. And hopefully he'll fly back and get back to his busy lifestyle as soon as possible, including golf. So wish me luck. Getting started, I got a little pole pole with the spaghetti noodle dilator going down. And I'm just gonna get the perfect trajectory shot. Using my delicate Asian fingers, Shad. It's right there, Shad and Save. You can see like a little thing coming up right behind the poster annulus. I love this blue dye thing. You can already see all the blue leakage. I suspect I'm going to have a separate leakage area more immediately where the annular tear is. But it's not the leakage from the entry point because otherwise all this right here would be blue too. Instead, it's a weird blue pattern separate from the entry point. That's how I know it's a true annular tear. That is my story. I'm sticking to it. Okay, there's the disc bulge. There's the annular tear. That dark space right there above is the canal. Lots of inflammation. Tons of little bleeders. Things are a little stuck down here, so I'm releasing it. Right there is a little adhesion, because that's what inflammation does. There we go, x-ray. Getting there. Oh, it's gonna wanna pop out like a pimple. This is my pimple popping maneuver. Using this as a down going Epstein. You can feel how incompetent that surface is. Should be firm like a hockey puck, but empty tent sign. Oh yes. Okay, getting pieces out using the curly Q pituitary. It's curved, so it goes in, but it reaches up. You see that? You can bend it even more. Just don't tell the company I did that. Oh yes, and I can feel something right here. Look at that. You poor thing. That thing was like a rock in your shoe. Messing with you whenever you stood up or put any pressure. A bunch of discs came just flying out of there too. It's like my teenage kids, they won't want to come out without a fight, but I feel it right there. Look at that caca poo poo. See how the blue coloration is weird? That tells me that it's not just nucleus, it is trapped. If it was nucleus, it'd be really, really bright blue and consistent. Like that, that's nucleus. Oh. Caca poo poo. I'm expecting great things from you. If you want to see where the exiting nerve root is, it's right on the other side of this cannula. Right there, look away! As my mama always said, spine surgery would be so much easier without blood vessels and nerves. And fat. That's not a judgment, that's just an observation. A lot of caca boo boo disc in here. Just the way we like it.
There's no reason blue should be back here unless you've got a kakapupo annular tear. I can't. Okay, putting the last minute finishing touches. So if you look at the picture on the x-ray screen over there, you can see that the trigger flex radio frequency probe is all the way over to the other side. I skated underneath the posterior annulus, posterior longitudinal ligament, and basically did an ablation of all the kakapupu tissue all the way to the other side. It's like the world's greatest IDEP procedure. This is a sci-fi homium laser though. My other absolute favorite tool, because it's magical. There's not much to do. This looks good. Okay, all done. All that stuff got removed and then all the stuff underneath here. I'm just ablating any pathologic tissue underneath like a targeted IDET, intradiscal electrothermal modulation treatment. I was on the FDA orthopedic devices panel that voted on that for the FDA, so I know about that technology really well. Okay, getting started at the next level. The future of surgery is to be an interventional radiologist because even Star Trek, McCoy, the McCoy in Star Trek, he's not a surgeon like he says. He is an interventional radiologist because all surgeons of the future are going to be interventional radiologists. Okay, now I'm at 5-1. I've got the tiny little needle inside the disc. And again, chromatodiscogram, shot and save. I'm in the disc, shot and save, shot and save, another messed up disc, shot and save, oh, it's so cute, I see the leakage like this, pooling, it's adorable, it's not cute, it's adorable, okay, this is what it looks like right when you go in, we call it the first look, but what's cool is that, the blue dye is not right where I put the cannula in, which is way back here in the middle. Now at 12 o'clock is the medial border of the spinous process. And I'm just making my way more and more medial, sliding over the disc. And look at this, it's getting blue right down the middle. It's gonna be a blue dot medial. Because that's where the annular tear is, I'm just saying. Inflammazione. There's the cacapupu. Right out of the textbook, right there. That's the that's the empty tent sign right there. Look at that. Look how pathetic that bump is. Should be like a hockey puck. You can tell you had some epidurals. I'm almost, ooh, nerves are working. There's one of the nerves, probably. Lots of inflammation. I will now take the laser. Oh, there's a little pimple. I'm zapping it with the pimple zapper. And for a few hundred thousand dollars, you too could have your very own laser. There is the ugliness right there. The only way that can be blue is if there was a big tear there. Because the entry point of the needle for the chromatodiscogram was way more lateral. Oh, it's so cool when you see what you're expecting to see. Because it's the little things that keep you going, don't you think? Oh, whatever, Brittany. Just a guy trying to be a guy here. Those hot pimples. That's going to hit the mirror of your bathroom when you pop it. Oddly gratifying. Favorite too, Terry. Okay, maybe not. It's gonna be like my teenage kids. Not gonna come out without a fight. But you can clearly see the kakapupu, no question about it. Okay, I take it back, four or five is still the worst because it's not really flying out of here like I thought. 
that this protrusion and tear was pesky. Look at that right there. You can just see the fissure. It just keeps coming. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Oh, look at that tear. Oh, yes. Thank you, Brittany. But all your negativity is just making me stronger. Okay, I'm really glad we're doing 5-1. Because that looks like it would be painful. It's stuck to everything too. Look at that. It's all inflamed. Oh, look at here. Look at it's a boy. Regrip it. Regrip it with your left hand now. Look, it's like a little mouse. Oh, what I do with it? Here it is. That's just one in many pieces. Can you grab that? Like in this long old time. Something right here. There's the dural tube right there. It's surrounded by some ligamentum flavum. Epidural fat, there's the wall of it. It's intact, but lots of injection consistent with chronic inflammation. And then that's medial. That's lateral, and you're going to be able to see the bone in two seconds. Right there. And then above that is the facet joint. It's like being a contortionist. Surgery's all done. I did it through these two little shark bites or vampire bites. I picture like this, like deformed vampire taking a bite at your back. It went beautifully. I saw a bunch of pathologic stuff. So I'm fully expecting you to get a lot better. And we're all hoping that you get a great result and a speedy recovery so you can get back to your busy life. Right guys?